Using the Pantone Live Color Book and Viewer plugin for Adobe Illustrator allows you to visually simulate how a color will reproduce under a specific printing condition, including different inks, printing processes, and materials or substrates. In Illustrator, all of the plugin options are accessible under Window Pantone Live. To view all of the spot colors currently used in your design file, start by launching the Color Manager. This allows you to see whether your colors have been mapped to Pantone Live and which libraries they originated from. You'll see that all of the spot colors in this file are currently mapped to the Pantone Plus Solid Uncoded V3 library. If a Pantone Live color doesn't have a library associated with it, then you will need to go to your Pantone Live Preferences menu and sync the library the color originates from. While working on your design, you can refresh this color list by clicking this icon. Selecting a color and clicking this icon will show you where it is used in the document. Clicking this icon will convert the spot color to a CMYK build. And clicking this icon will take you directly to the color replacement window where you can replace a color with a color from a different Pantone Live library. This is also available from the color book menu. Let's take a look. You can add colors from a Pantone Live library to Illustrator's Color Swatch library, apply a Pantone Live dependent condition to all of the colors in your file, or replace a specific color in your file with a color from Pantone Live. To add a color from Pantone Live to your Color Swatch library in Illustrator, select Add Color from Library. Simply select your library and search for the color you would like to add here. Click Add. Once finished adding colors, click Done. This color will be shown in your swatches palette. If you already have a Pantone color in your design file and want to replace that color with one from a Pantone Live library, select Replace Color. The color replacement window will open. Under the list of current colors, Select the color in your file that you wish to replace. Then click on the Replace Selected Color By dropdown. There are several options here including using another document color, selecting a CMYK color, finding the best match, or choosing a color from a Pantone Live library. Find Best Match can be handy when you know the dependent condition you plan to print with and want to start with the Pantone spot color that gives you the closest achievable output to the color you originally had specified. This will show you the closest colors in a selected Pantone Live library to the color in your file based on your chosen Delta E formula. A preview will also be shown. Choosing Replace Selected Color By, Color from Library, allows you to manually search a Pantone Live library for a color. This search box can be used to easily filter by name and locate the color you want to replace. When you've located the color you wish to swap into the document, simply click Replace Color and the swap will be made. Repeat the process for any additional colors that you would like to replace and select Done once finished. The original document colors will be replaced with the selected Pantone Live colors. The fastest way to see how your design file colors will change with different Pantone Live conditions will be the Apply Pantone Live Condition option. When this menu opens, simply select the condition that correlates to the dependent condition you will be printing to. In this example, we'll be flexo printing on brown craft paper. So we select the Paper Packaging Flexo Water Brown Craft Library, then click OK. Your design file colors will change automatically to show the new condition. Click Edit, Undo, or Control z to reverse the changes. If you didn't see the Pantone Live dependent condition you wanted in the menu, then you may need to go back to the Preferences menu and sync the library you need. While performing a color replacement, the Pantone Live Viewer can be used to provide a more accurate view of your Pantone Live colors. More on this will be covered in the video on using the viewer.